everyone, welcome back to Prime 5, your five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. And boy, do we have a banger for you today. And we get to kick it off with something I still can't believe Nintendo actually did. No, it's not the Mario movie, although that is also something that Nintendo did. Woo! If you enjoy this episode, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into the news. And our first story is that Pilot Wings 64 is coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Now, look, it is releasing on October 13th, and that's actually really cool. Not as cool as the actual trailer. While you're watching the trailer, it's not watching the trailer that's so cool. Just take a listen to this. Maybe late one night you imagine shooting missiles from a gyrocopter at a giant robot. That's oddly specific. Yes. That's actually something that happened in the Pilot Wings trailer. In fact, it happens throughout the entire trailer. I don't know what Nintendo is doing. They are a bunch of mad lads, but they're even madder because Pilot Wings 64 has actually never been re-released ever since it came out on the Nintendo 64. That includes the two prior virtual console attempts on home console. That's right. So this is a bigger deal than Nintendo Switch Online games simply because we haven't been able to play it since it originally came out on N64. So, hey, kudos to Nintendo for giving us one of the all-time classics to our Nintendo Switch Online subscription. Next up, there was a brand new Pokemon trailer that's extremely long-winded and gives us a ton of new details on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, yeah, it is kind of corny how it's scripted, but once you get past the corniness of the scripting, there's actually a lot of really neat things, including for some reason you can make sandwiches, and I guess that's like how you get buffs in the overworld. It's really weird, but I guess, I don't know, maybe it replaces like a curry system that used to exist. I don't know, I'm just throwing out there what's in the trailer. Uh, beyond all that, there is new Pokemon and some of their evolutions. The ability to auto battle to level Pokemon quicker. We get to see some of the story elements in the branching story pass, some side quests and things like that for gyms, and a whole bunch more. It's a really long trailer, but it's actually worth watching, and it's probably the best information trailer to date on Scarlet and Violet. So I really do encourage if you want to know absolutely everything about Scarlet and Violet, and you don't really want to get it from leaks, you just want official information, this is the way to go. And I gotta say, just visually speaking, well, yes, Scarlet and Violet are not big lookers, stunners, they're not gonna win any awards for best looking game on Switch or anything. I will say, it's looking a bit crisper than I remember, I'm liking the polish being added to this game. Now next up, yeah, the Mario movie was a thing, right? I mean, it's a thing. I can't show a lot of it because we just get claimed really, really bad, but so we're gonna keep this pretty brief. The Mario movie trailer happened. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Link down in the description. We did a live reaction to it. I'll just say I'm loving it and I think that it's going in the right direction. Next up, we have a bit of news on Sonic Frontiers because they're gonna be releasing an official soundtrack for the game on December 7th. The soundtrack is gonna have 150 tracks and the name of the track is called Stillness and Motion. Now that's one month after Sonic Frontiers comes out on November 8th. And yeah, normally when Sonic soundtracks come out, it's actually pretty hype because there's a lot of like hard rock songs and stuff like that and people really fall in love with it. But the music in this game seems I don't know, dare I say more Breath of the Wild-esque? More sound effect nature-y? I don't know. We don't really know, because there's 150 songs on this thing, so I, whatever. <laughs> there's a soundtrack coming out for those interested. And last up, the Famitsu sales charts came out for last week, and I'm not gonna actually go over the entire chart like I normally do, kind of keeping it brief because my mind is still so stuck on this damn Mario movie. I'm telling you guys, I can't get my mind out of it. But that's besides the point, we gotta talk about Splatoon 3. See, Splatoon 3 is still number one on the Famitsu sales charts, yet again, moving over 150,000 units. But the big deal now is that, yeah, it's now moved over 2.8 million total and could possibly cross 3 million units next week and likely still maintain its number one spot. 150,000 units is still better than most games that launch in Japan. And this is like a month on the market. So good for Splatoon 3. Good for the Switch, who maintained its number one sales spot as well at 70,000 units. And yeah, you know what? I am just... Guys, I think we're going to have to do a bonus video on the weekend about the Mario movie. I, I just think it needs to happen. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. 
All right, guys. I'm Nathaniel Robo Jans from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, woohoo! We'll catch you in the next one.